what is up my crazy subscriber this is Joe King John 84 and today I will be talking about Call of Duty World War 2 on how it could save the franchise now a lot of people gotta ask their, themselves this question you know will the Call of Duty World War 2 game will be any good you know will some of the old school players will return to the game you know who knows at this point nobody knows because there's a lot of backlash going on with the symbol of the Nazi flag and all that stuff like it's kind of crazy but I'm pretty sure most of those people who are against that you know uh, against the company taking away the Nazi flag are mostly children so it really doesn't matter to me to be honest but uh if they want historical accuracy they gotta add it back i guess you know it will be a little bit more realistic compared to their uh the the recoil of their guns you know it's not it's not the only thing that's wrong in the game it's also their guns with no bullet drops so yeah, I can already tell you guys that I'm a little bit smarky about this because, you know, after playing Rainbow Six Siege for a while, I kind of feel like Call of Duty is just an arcade game for reals. But anyways, you know, will Call of Duty World War II save the franchise? Will everybody return to the game? Will the old school players return and all that stuff? Let me tell you guys something. And back in my day, back in my prime time days, it was mostly on um, boots on the ground. <laughs> you know, I never succeeded in a futuristic game before, not even on Planet Side, not even on, uh, you know, I think in Advanced Warfare either. Advanced Warfare, I sucked pretty bad until Black Ops 3 kind of did decent. But, um, you know, I still consider myself as one of my, you know, one of my best moments will be like in Black Ops 1 because that that's when I used to be ranked in the, you know, top 15 in the whole world for both Domination and Team Deathmatch. And I already told the story several times, I mean, and I'll tell it again real quick. Um, you know, back in the day, I pretty much was uh, the best rusher in the game. You know, I was I was a hell of a player. I was running around with my AK-74U back in Black Ops 1. And uh, now that we're going into World War II, I just feel like I, that's my old style coming back. Like, my old ways are going to come back and, you know, I'm going to be wrecking people out there. So, it makes me want to play the game again. And now I'm an old school player, you know, since Black Ops 1. And I know some of the new players don't get this feeling because, you know, they never played Boots on the Ground. And over the past three games was Advanced Warfare, Black Ops 3, and Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. And that was some jumpy jumpy BS going around on crack mode. Like, that's not Call of Duty. The real Call of Duty is what you're going to play this year in Call of Duty World War 2. And if you jump back at the old school games, I'm pretty sure these kinds of people who are playing Advanced Warfare and Black Ops 3 uh, are not going to be used to it. You know, it's going to be very difficult for them. So, you know, now the tables have turned because these people, these same people who got good in Advanced Warfare, Black Ops 3 and Infinite Warfare are going to have to like now get good and boots in the ground without jumping around without getting extra angles to take out the enemies so um it kind of you know splits the fan base a little bit but the major of the fan base of the call of duty franchise came during black ops 1 modern warfare 3 uh modern warfare 2 and call of duty 4 and what do all of those games have in common they're all boots in the ground i mean come on people it's pretty much obvious a lot of people are going to come back into the game unless you know people want to be child childish about the flag thing about the nazi thing then then i guess not you know people are just going to be childish because of that like do not give up on the game because of historical inaccuracy give up the, give up on the game if it changes its ways like going into advanced warfare and black ops 3 and infinite warfare maybe give up on the game but not because of historical accuracy because the game is not even realistic to begin with so anyways my opinion is maybe the franchise is gonna revive itself like it's on on its final foot and now it's freaking getting healed and it's getting better i'm glad we're going back to boots on the ground man no more no more of this laser bullcrap and i mean i've seen some infinite warfare gameplay and all I see is lasers being shot around and like crazy. I'm like, no, enough of this neonic uh, BS. You know, this this crap is just not real, man. This this cannot be Call of Duty. And if they want to go futuristic, they should implement all that hard work into Destiny. Because right now, Destiny, a lot of their fan base is giving up on it. So, yeah, that it's because Activision you no know, owns both series. So if they're going to make a futuristic game, put all that resources, all those resources of the futuristic style into Destiny instead and, instead and save that franchise too. So um, that's my opinion about this whole situation, guys. How do you feel about Call of Duty World War II? You know, is it a good thing, bad thing? You know, would you guys get used to it right, right away? Because I am, you know. I play Rainbow Six Siege enough to kind of understand that uh, booting the ground is my style and that's how it's going to stay. So, um, 
you guys have not you know training been training lately for like boots on the ground and you've been playing all futuristic games then it's gonna be a bad year for you all so that's my opinion about this tell me what you think about it in the comment section and i'll read it later so if you guys want to see more call of duty world war 2 make sure you subscribe for more and also leave a like in the video it's gonna show me that you guys really want to see more videos of these